Well, Mark Michelle, authorities are crediting an alert school employee, a teacher at Horace Mann Elementary, who noticed bruises on a child's arm and did the right thing by calling authorities immediately. Outside the home on Avondale Avenue, you see a few trash bags lining the porch, but it's what was behind this front door that had Springfield police officers disgusted. Take a look at these pictures we obtained from court records. Officers say the floors were covered with trash, clothes, and clutter. They found dog treats and shredded cheese spilled all over the home, even under the couch. The kitchen counters and sink were covered with dishes and leftover food. One of the toilets did not work. And upstairs in the children's bedroom, officers found clothes and toys covering most, if not all, of the floor. One room had a mattress that was filthy with brown spots and no sheets. In the attic, police also found bags of what they say appeared to be the remnants of smoked marijuana. And living amongst all of this were five children. I would like to speak with the public defender. Now their mother, 24-year-old Rachel Tucker, is answering to child endangering charges. She says it's all a misunderstanding. Lies created by her young stepdaughter whom she does not get along with. But police say the bruises on that child's arm do not lie. Children's advocates are now saying kudos to the teacher who spotted these injuries and reported it to authorities as required by law. And I think it's just a testament to why it's so important we work as a team. They spotted something and alerted children's services and law enforcement were then obligated to go to the home. And then, of course, we see that you know, these children are in serious need of services. So. The children are now staying with relatives. Both parents declined my request for an interview. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News, on your side. All right, Sonu, thank you. We've